I'm going to state what I think many are probably already going to be talking about, but it needs to be said regardless. Shiny Chariot, I've waited so long for you to have your own action scene and, like, see you go all in. It was nice. It, it was so nice seeing Chariot just go in and wrecking some golems or stone archers and shit. It, just, it was badass seeing, you know, Chariot Sensei go in use her power, her magic, and just demonstrate how awesome she is. That entire sequence was so freaking epic. Probably one of my favorite scenes of Little Witch Academia to date. And this is probably my favorite episode just because of the world building, but also the setup for the end game of this series. Just compliments to Studio Trigger, compliments on everyone that worked on this episode. It was just a glorious episode, and it was something I was really looking forward to for a very long time to see Chariot go all in. So, let's just say right now that I really appreciate and love the fact that when Chariot gets serious, her hair goes from blue to red. Like, that entire sequence, when she just does that hair thing, you just see her hair come out and it just goes from blue to red. It's a badass, like, looking transformation. Like, she's like, I'm going all in, I'm done with your shit. When she takes off those glasses and all that, I'm like, yo, like, yo! Just an awesome sequence, and probably my favorite sequence I have seen from Little Witch. Now, besides that, though, this episode really makes it apparent like if you already didn't see it in last week's episode it's very obvious it's up in your face throughout the entirety of this episode that the new sensei croa i think that's how you pronounce the name i was calling her crow last week but i think you pronounce her name croa but anyways the new sensei croa she she's obviously evil i mean the entire presentation of her character in this episode is like you can't be even more evil than that like you're straight up evil i mean i guess killing people you'd be a little bit more evil but still the point stands is is that she's obviously evil i mean she knocks out akko she goes into Akko's mind, you know, analyzes her memories and all her thoughts and everything that she has done just to see what's going on. And clearly from the little things we saw throughout the background of that with her scene, she is taking and soaking up the power from the ley lines and she's probably using it to change the world. Or she's using it to where she's going to suck up all the magic. She'll be the owner of all the magic to be able to perform everything she's only magic user or she's going to sell it and she's going to be able to make money and profit off of it. One or the other is going to happen. So, obvious evil vibes are obvious. I mean, you just can't be even more evil than that. Like, seriously, she's she's probably the most obvious evil villain we've seen in the series. So, yeah, if you had, you know, thoughts or you were denying it, like, oh, she's still good, no, no. Yeah, get that shit out of here. So, besides that, the entire reveal to the actual world building like what the point of it is when it comes to the shiny rod and the words and all that we finally get that revealed apparently the actual main magic was sealed up a very long time ago and the only way to actually get the magic back is by all seven words being spoken and then once all seven words are spoken the entire world will be reconstructed like magic will come back in full and it's not explain completely like all the nitty-gritty details but overall chariot wants akko to find out the individual words to unlock the original magic bring back magic for you know it's not dying anymore and so that's the main in-game goal right now but overall though even if you tell akko the words it's not gonna help her at all and that explains a lot of the details when it comes to why shiny chariot wouldn't just say all seven words or whatever if she knows them and then just unlock the seal saying the word doesn't automatically unlock the seal it, it doesn't work like that apparently the shiny rod is a little bit different to where it connects with the user that uses it and then it runs off of like emotional like energy slash magic and so you have to go through like certain emotions or have this certain point of view to be able to use the shiny rod so if you're let's say a villain like your crow and say Obviously, you can't use the shiny rod. You won't be able to open up and unlock the seal because you probably don't have the proper mindset to wield the shiny rod, which explains why this has never been done before or why the shiny rod's probably never unlocked, you know, the seal is because it wasn't the proper person. But it really is interesting when you see what was revealed in this episode about Shiny Chariot and what actually led her to no longer being in the spotlight anymore and why she kind of fell back and nobody really knew 
where she was anymore. It was thanks to her trying to hunt down the words, and she was never able to discover what the seventh word was. She doesn't know what it is, and she doesn't know the meaning of it or anything, and that's kind of been her entire quest overall. And so, we found out now why she probably gave up, why she gave up the title Shiny Chariot, and why she just didn't deserve it anymore, is because she couldn't figure it out, or she really fucked up and wasn't able to do, you know, word seven in some way. Like, if you fuck up on it, like, you just can't take it back, and that's most likely what happened. And you have it to where Arco, she's having to go for her own trials and, you know, errors to be able to figure out these words, and then also understand the meaning of them before she can unlock the seal. So even if you say anything to her, it's not going to change nothing. She has to discover it on her own. So I like the details. I really in appreciate and enjoy the details that this episode clarified for us watchers of Little Witch Academia, but also I like the world building as well. I do appreciate that. So yeah, I got to say, a very solid episode. It was a great episode to watch if you're a Little Witch Academia fan. Art and animation, it was okay in some spots. I mean, there was a little bit of derps here and there, but overall, it was a good-looking episode. I, I don't really have any major problems. Music, oh my god, like, I'm really loving that theme song that's playing in the background with Crow Sensei. I, I don't know what that song is called or whatever, but I'm really loving that theme song, and it just fits her entire character and all that. It might be Crow's theme. That's probably what it's called, but the theme song when she pops up on screen, it's such a good song, fits her character, and I have no complaints. So, just job well done, Studio Trigger. Great episode, continue the good work, and continue more, uh, you know, plot development and exploring the world. So, yeah, you all have a wonderful day or nights wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.